Where you want your bye -byes? Where? Right there. Okay, let's go. Good morning, guys. It is 7 a.m. It is Monday morning, and I let the kids sleep in a little bit, so they are going to eat breakfast here instead of eating breakfast at school. So we're gonna drop them off a little late. I burned some coffee, fed the dog, got the kids up. Last night, Olivia, she doesn't have a stomach bug. We thought she did, but she doesn't have a stomach bug. She has um, like a lot of drainage and it's making her pretty sick. So she was up late last night, throwing up multiple times. Thank God John decided to be kind and let me sleep. So now I'm being kind and letting him sleep. So we're taking shifts. So she's not going to school. Going to the doctor today, they're gonna find out or they're gonna try to see um, if they can do some more testing to find out if I have Meniere's disease, which is like an inner ear disease. Um, yeah, so today should be quite interesting. Over the weekend, um, I just, especially Saturday, we just kind of spent time with family, went to the park, did all kinds of fun stuff. And then yesterday we went to church and then after church had Emily and Boo Bear came over and Caitlin and we just hung out. John got off work came home, Alexis spent the night, like it's been kind of crazy. Um, and I refused to clean during all of this. So this morning I really need to do some mega cleaning in the house and get it back to where I'm not having anxiety looking at it. So yeah, let's get this day rolling. Let's get some coffee in this body cause it needs it. Look at that baby, he's so pretty. Does anybody in here want to go bye bye? Do you want to go? Do you ready to go? <laughs> you want to go? <laughs> you want to go? You want to go bye-bye? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you ready? Ella, Marie, you want to go bye-bye? You ready to go? You ready to go? Okay, so I just got back home. I went to drop the kids off at school. I went to the bank and I went and got gas. Olivia's still in the bed. She did not go to school this morning. Her daddy is still in the bed. He was up with her all night last night. So I wanted to quickly give you guys some updates before I went into the house and started cleaning. So I told you guys I would talk to you about weight loss. Um, yeah, so I've lost 37 pounds in 69 days, which is a little bit more than about half a pound a day. Um, but I've not steadily lost half a pound every single day. There was actually a three and a half week space of time where I didn't lose anything, like nothing at all. Um, and I was following the doctor's guidelines on what I could eat very strictly. And then I had a day where I had French fries, a donut, and a Pop-Tart in one day, which is all no-nos on the list. And I woke up the next morning and was two and a half pounds lighter. It immediately broke me not losing weight. And I just started losing rapidly after that. Um, so I started kind of experimenting with my own body. And I have figured out that if I eat too many carbs, I won't lose weight. Or if I don't eat enough carbs, I won't lose weight. So I have to eat everything in moderation. First, let me tell you, I am not advocating ignoring what your doctor tells you to do because it is your doctor. But I am telling you that he gives you cookie cutter information for unique bodies. Secondly, I know that to hear the phrase eat everything in moderation is like a kind of a duh. But when you are somebody that's like me, I have never been able to eat in moderation and lose weight. Not ever. I am one of those people that before I had surgery, I literally had to starve myself to the point of almost having an eating disorder in order to just lose weight. And obviously it wasn't working. I was over 350 pounds. So to say, you know, eat everything in moderation seems like a duh, but that's just not how I've ever worked. And so it's kind of like mind blowing and hard to take in that it's, if I eat a Pop-Tart, I like, it's not gonna kill me and I may actually lose weight that day. I, I don't know what he did in there, but he fixed something that was broke because now I can eat like a regular person in society. I mean, I eat, still eat much smaller portions, but I can actually, you know, enjoy food and not constantly guilt myself because I'm eating a bite of something I shouldn't have. So I'm going to jump off here, 
me and Ella are gonna go in the house. I'm gonna start cleaning. I'll take you for that. Um, and then of course we'll go to the doctor this afternoon and find out why I'm having like weird random bouts of vertigo and some of the other symptoms that I'm having. Y'all, I'm I'm going deaf. Like I'm going deaf. Like I can't hear anything. Like I'm struggling to hear. If TV's not like blaring loud, I can't hear it. Um, can't hear the kids talking. I'm really struggling. Like on stage, my ears will pop and then I can't hear anything at all. And I'm just having to like sing from memory. I can't hear. So hopefully, hopefully we get some answers soon because I'm getting real sick of this. Real sick of it. it's so chaotic okay so I'm I'm way behind on everything okay so the reason I didn't vlog yesterday was after I went to the doctor they ran all these crazy tests like these balance tests and hearing tests and all these things and they literally scraped the first layer of skin off my forehead so that they could put electrodes on my face um, they also scraped on the inside of my ears which also sucked and they um, they did all these things and they tried to induce vertigo, which they were successful. They were successful in that. Um, it was awful because they found out the reason that traditional, like the traditional exercises that they give you that take away vertigo don't work with me is because most people, she said 95% of people get vertigo in the posterior canal. I don't, I get it up in here. So like they had to do these crazy movements and she had to like let my head hang backward and like twist my head and I had to keep falling back and then I had to like face the ground. It was just this crazy stuff and it made me so nauseous that when I got home, thank God I have recently had surgery and I had some Zofran left because I was so freaking sick. Even today, I my head still feels wonky. It doesn't feel... Like, I'm not dizzy, I just feel wonky. I don't know how to describe it. So, May the 6th is when I go to the doctor, and that is hopefully when we find out what is going on. They're also doing an allergy test that day. They told me to wear a sleeveless shirt. They are going to poke me 180 times, back of the arms, back of the legs, and on my back itself. Hooray. So, yeah, we're going to find something out eventually. Oh, and they did not tell me that the testing I got done yesterday was not covered by my insurance until I got there. So, that means I now have medical bills heading my own direction. Yay. Today is Tuesday, and it's Southern Mama's Day, and I'm way behind on everything. I'm running around like a chicken with its head cut off. I had to get some things for Southern Mamas and I forgot to get, and I couldn't get them yesterday because I was Captain Spinny. So now I'm having to run and do that. 
and it is right now 7.50. We go live at 9. Ugh. Thank God this store is not very far from my house, but still, it's frustrating. I know before I go in, the girls have no idea what videos we're filming today. They have no clue. They're going to hate me. I wish I could say I was going to end the vlog on a more interesting note, but I'm not. We finished uh, doing the live Southern Mamas and then we actually filmed three videos and we've had lunch and I've got to go with the kids soon. The rest of my day is going to be so incredibly boring. There's no reason to vlog it. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I will let you guys know as soon as I hear something from the doctor. And of course, I will keep my vlogs coming as I can. So until next time, we love you. Bye.